What's up guys? Welcome to a new video. Today's topic is the new LumaFusion 2.1 update and the new features it brought with it. First of all, of course, the update brought um, iOS 13 improvements, bug fixes, aspect ratios and resolutions with it. These are all features which doesn't bother us that much because as long as it works, it's good. But the second new thing are 27 new blend modes. And these blend modes are kind of interesting. I say kind of because not all of them are useful. So in my opinion, four to five of them are useful. And I'm going to show you which ones I will use and why I'm using them. So we are jumping right into LumaFusion. Welcome to LumaFusion. As I mentioned before, today I will show you five blend modes which I think are the most important blend modes of all the 24 or 28 which LumaFusion update 2.1 brought with it. So we will start with the blend mode Darken. Again, the order is Mountain Range is top layer, Tide layer is the lower layer. And what Darken does is it blends away all the areas of the top layer which are above dark areas of the lower layer. So the title is white and the background is black. So all we see of the top layer is the white areas of the title. And this gives a pretty cool title effect. Let's go to the second blend mode. This is Stencil Alpha. It looks exactly like the Darken Blend Mode, but the difference is now the Mountain Range is the lower layer and the title layer is the top layer. So what this Blend Mode does, it, it gives a kind of see-through effect by blending away all the white areas of the title. So I think the Stencil Alpha is the better blend mode to use when you want to do this effect here. Because normally you will drag the title above the video clip itself. The third effect I want to show you is Darkest Color. What Darkest Color does, it lends away areas which are above dark parts of the lower clip. So in this case you can see Look at this area right here at the peak of the mountain. And as I move on, you can see that parts of the title disappear once they come to a certain area in the mountain. And this gives a kind of cool vintage effect um, to the title itself. Looks pretty cool, I think. But of course, it doesn't make sense if too many areas of the lower clip are dark. So you won't see the title itself, just parts of it. But there's the opposite of it, which is lighter color. And what it does, it shows only the parts of the top clip, which are above dark areas. So it's right the opposite of the, that one. And as you can see in this clip, you are barely able to read the title. So this is what I meant. So you have to decide which one you want to use if you have a more dark clip or a more light clip. And of course, the blend mode is always applied to the top clip. So in this case, the title. And now let's come to the last blend mode, which is important in my opinion. And this is one to lighten blend mode. And this one will help you to match two clips together. So no title and normal clip, but two clips. And it only makes sense if one of those clips has pretty dark area. So um, maybe a, in this case, city by night. And above this should be a brighter clip. So maybe daylight. And as you see, you get this, yeah, you can see both clips pretty good. So you can understand what's happening in the image and you can use this one to tell stories. So maybe you can fade it away. So the person goes from a city to a landscape like this mountain range here and uh, you can use it to tell pretty good cool stories. But be aware this blend mode doesn't make sense if you use two clips which have pretty much the same exposure. So in this case you can see 
two clips, both are filmed under the pretty same conditions and you are not able to find out which mountain belongs to which clip and so on. So it's just confusing. Okay guys, I hope this will help you to decide which blend modes to use in which situation, but feel free to test out the other ones. I would recommend testing them out with a similar um, scenario. So at first of all, I would use them with the same as I did with, with a title layer with white text and black background. So you will see what kind of effect it has to this situation, which is pretty obvious because we have a lot of black areas and a lot of white areas. And the second scenario I would choose are two clips above each other. But what I would recommend is again one darker clip and one brighter clip. And then the third scenario are two pretty similar clips. So if you test a blend mode through all three of these scenarios, you will see which blend mode has which effect on these scenarios and you can decide where to use it best. And of course, if you have found another blend mode which you think is useful, please feel free to put them in the comments and discuss about this blend mode to help all the other guys watching it because, you know, sometimes I don't see everything. So please feel free to do that and we will find the best blend modes to use and where to use them. So this is it for today's video. Please give this video a thumb up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to activate the bell to don't miss any video. And check out my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle because this one contains a lot of cool features which might be useful for your LumaFusion editing. So till then, see you the next time. Bye.